Well, great way to finish the date. On race 26, and it's a Christmas hurdle. Over three miles, great two event. Split splash with Joshua Southern, the 130 number one favourite. Bell Kennan for Alex Cherry, Brett Vaughan for Pontypool Racing, Eaton Mess of Ryan Tamasevi, Five Star for David Hooley, Hazel Rick Hawker for Darren Thompson, Jumping Jack Bash for Paul Rhodes, Redwood Edition for David Robertson, Scorched Earth for Ian Van Rensburg, Sir Gerard, Gerard for Darren Hooley, Sports Visa for James Shea, Time Catcher for Ian Van Rensburg, Cloud Member for Hems, Compact Money for James Shea, Raffiette for Newlet for Hems, and Word on Five for Joshua Sutherland makes up a nice big fat field for the Christmas hurdle of 16. Already away over three miles, and the straight into the first hurdle. We'll skip over it, a bit lower, slow at the back was Brigall. See who can take this uh, very unusual Christmas we've got coming next week. Well, I hope everybody has a very pleasant time. But the Christmas hurdle in Leopardstown is being led by Jumping Jack Flash. Paul Rhodes by about four lengths to Splish Splash and Sports Visa. Sir Gerard, 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 Gerard. Hard. And then the grey Hazel Rick Hawker, and wide is Bell Kennan. Between those is Eaton Ness being pushed along a little bit. And the purple silks towards us here is Five Star. And outside of that is the first of the old Van Rensburg horses, Time Capsule. Wide as still as Bregorn and World on Fire. Wide as all looks like uh, it's Cloud Mambo and Redwood Edition. And Raphael Millet, mid pack. Scorched Earth from the Ram Razor towards the rear and right off the back at the moment in the middle of the course is Compact Bonnie for James Shea. We go over the fourth. He skips over the flight well. And we're still being comfortably led by Jumping Jack Flash. By right about five to Hazel Rick Hawker. And splish Splash. Bell Kennan. Sports Beasel on the inside. As they approach the next. So over that well, better jump, nice jump by Hazel Rig Hawker. Jumps himself into second on his own, comes over towards the fence now. It's in front of a split splash. So that's Bell Kennan, who's also moved over towards the fence now. Still wide as always, uh, world on fire now. Wider still looks like Redwood Edition, but a little bit further back in the pack. But it's still jumping Jack Flash that's leading us here. He's about well over two miles to go. Takes the six. He gets over that comfortably. And there's a few towards the rear being pushed along here. Jumping Jack Flash has gone off at a fair pace. And, uh, got a few of these. A little upset, but it is still Jumping Jack Flash. By about three now. To Hazel Rick Hawker and Splish Flash and Bell Kenyon still together. Time Catcher is up into fifth now. Most of the pack uh, happily bowling along as we're going to go past the grandstand. And the seventh. Halfway through the flights. And it was as we were. It's Jumping Jack Flash to Hazel Rick Hawker. Old Canyon and Splish Splash. Time capsule. Your first five. Pack being pulled along by Out Wide World on Fire. And Silk, Silk's of Sports Visa. Silk's towards us here is the first of Mr. Hooley's horses, which is five star and Sir Jihad. In between those is Scorched Earth. Towards the rear of the Cloud Member and Rafflet Mill out, we've lost sight of Compact Bonnie now. The widest of all still is Redwood Edition. In between all those horses is Bragorn and Eaton Mess as they go over the eighth. Slow jump there by Time Capsule. Shoves himself back into the remainder of the pack. Jumping Jack Flash takes the ninth. And we get over that another bad jump there by Scorched Earth. We're getting over these flights very well. He's dropped to towards the rear of most of the horses as we've lost sight of Compact Bonnie. But Jumping Jack Flash still leading us. We'll try and win this from pillar to post from Hazel Rick Hawker and Splish Flash of Bell Canyon. A length and a half back to the pack, Sir Gerhard, Time Capture World on Fire, Eaton Mess Wider still is, is Redwood Edition. A fair pace, a mile left to travel over the tenth. Five from home. So this is just four flights to take and a mile to travel, and it's Jumping Jack Flash being joined now by Splish Splash. He's a Rick Hawker towards the fence. Still in fourth is Bell Canyon. Eaton Mess and Time Capsule trying to close the gas. Still out. Wine is World on Fire. But it's Jumping Jack Flash under a bit of pressure now as we come to the 11th. Put under under a bit of uh, a challenge by Splish Flash. Hazel Rick Hawker's got himself a little bit caught in now and up, up, 
the backside a jumping jack flash. So with six furlongs to go and just a couple of flights to take, it's jumping jack flash from splish splash. Hazel Rick all going 30. Mess has moved up to fourth now, but it's still jumping jack flash. Splish splash is in on his outside. They take the 12th. Two to jump, and it's splish splash and jumping jack flash. Trying to find room again is Hazel Rick Hawker, but coming out of the pack well now is eating mess and scorched earth. On the wide outside is World on Fire, Sir Jahar, Bell Canyon all off on the bridle now, and they're going to challenge these leaders. And the one that's going to challenge most is going to be scorched earth on the wide outside. Inside the final half mile, it's splish splash and scorched earth. Jumping jack flash doesn't look like he's got a left, lot left. The one that's really got caught up is Sir Jahar, running on well was eating mess, but the over the 13th, and it's scorched earth that leads now by a couple of lengths from splish splash. Eating mess running on. Sir Jahar's got a little bit of room. Everyone else is well off the bridle now, trying to move through the pack is time capsule, but it's scorched earth by about three. Two furlongs left to run and just one to take, and it's scorched earth and splish splash closing the gash gap now from Eaton Mess at Jerhard out wide world on fire, so scorched earth. Here comes splish splash, furlong and a half left to run. Scorched earth's gonna rise first, they get over it together, land well, scorched earth still from splish splash, time capsule on the right outside, and scorched earth and time capsule sandwich splish splash, and it's scorched earth just by nose. Splish Splash, Time Capsule on the outside, and it's Time Capsule from Scorched Earth, Splish Splash, it's going to be between Time Capsule and Scorched Earth, gets back up on the wide outside, was Raphael nearly that left it, a little bit too late for Craig, Craig Allen, but uh, a good win there for Time Capsule, who certainly wasn't getting over the flights earlier, very particularly well, but enjoyed the flat racing, just gets up on the end, oh no, Scorched Earth got up and won it in the end, my god, what a confusion, oh, Scorched Earth just hang on to it there from Raphael Miller, good running on for second, Time Capture ended up being third, and Hazel Rick Hawker got up for fourth, I don't know what happened to uh, Josh's horse Splish Splash ended up in fifth, so Leon takes the Christmas hurdle, Scorched Earth, well done. Raphael Millet for Craig Allen was second, Time Capsule for Leon Van Rensburg was third, Hazel Rick Hawker for Darren Thompson was fourth, Splish Splash for Joshua Solomon got up for fifth. That's it, that guys, so have a good Christmas, and uh, we'll see you all in the new year, and uh, that's all I'm going to say. Adios.